with Bailey Parker under center, East Nobles averaged 37 points per game this year, while Hoberts allowed just 10 points per. Something had to give in this semi-state edition of our must-see matchup on Fort Wayne's NBC. The crowd roaring in Kendallville as the Knights take the field. The, Bri the Brickies, though, causing some havoc early. There's the block punt leading to a Tyler Schultz score. Hobart hops in front 10-0 to the third quarter. Nate's not, Knights now trailing by seven. Parker, though, like all year, putting the team on his back, breaking free for the touchdown, tied at 17 in the third. East Noble's defense doing damage now. The Knights bring in the safety. East Noble takes the lead, 19 to 17. And after a big punt return from Nick Munson, great field position, and guess who? Parker punches it in. East Noble stays in control, 29-24, heading to the state finals for the first time since 2003. The defending state champion Saints marching to undefeated Valparaiso. This one a fist fight from start to finish. Dominant defense on both sides. Wenger though down 10 nothing when John Michael Fabini he flips the fortunes around and then in the fourth quarterback Brandon Lytle buying time going deep he would need this one and Patrick Finley he goes 83 yards and the Saints back in the ball game they get the ball back but this year not to be for Bishop Wenger the Saints journey for back to back stops at semi state. 10 to 7. After losing a ton of talent from last year, 12 and 1 Adams Central exceeded all expectations, reaching semi state. The Flying Jets falling down big here in the third, but they do chip away at that lead. Blake Hirely going to fall in for the four yard score, and AC would get the ball back, still down plenty, but Dallas Schwaller slinging one to Ben Voyerl, who comes down with the jump ball 24 to 14. But it'd be too late to complete a comeback. AC's magical run comes to an end 24 to 14. And as football goes, high school basketball ramps up. Heavyweight Homestead tips us off. Ayanna Patterson, though, out tonight. A good test for Sparty against Concordia. But they pass with these. The Central Michigan signee, Sidney Graber, going for a game high 24. Then it's Riley Parker. Parking from distance like she often does. She'll take the long walk for a supporting 18. Unbeaten Homestead takes another victory to the house, 73 to 29. I think our ball movement's improved so much over just three games. So, you know, I'm really proud of us and, you know, just how hard we're working at the things that take no talent. Carroll down 25 to 20 at the half, hosting Northbrook. But boy, did these girls charge back, forcing turnover after turnover. That's Delaney Sheets with the swipe and score. Now taking the loose ball, it's Carroll's Emily Parrott putting up 19. Finally, Olivia Hopner leading the way. A game high 25 as Carroll puts up 41 points in the third quarter alone on the way to a 77 to 46 victory. Southside making the short trip to Wayne. The Archers letting it fly from the start. It's JC Jones. Absolute money with the J. She connects on a couple early threes and later on does the dishing to Olivia Smith for the swish as Southside could not be stopped. 82 to 22. The unbeaten Railroaders packing the house up at DeKalb. It's a road game for them, but you couldn't tell. Garrett's Morgan Ostrowski open up top for Trey. Next, it's Bailey Kellum keeping it coming. The Railroaders ride on 59 to 32. The Warriors only lost this season coming at the hands of Garrett. Woodland's Gabby Joyce going for the long distance J and she's got it. The Warriors up big on Leo. Ella Smith sending home another bucket. And how about the D? Addison Bateman, get that out of here. The Warriors roll 55 to 31. Undefeated East Side bringing in the Hornets with the Blazers. They're stung from the start. Kayla Fenstermaker, well, she's a maker of baskets. Angola up early and keep on the attack. The theft up to Hannah Knoll. Angola, Angola totally in control, 48 to 28. 